see. Jason K says, uh, I'm just curious on your trading view, why you have six indicators template? Oh, here, six indicators. So, yes, this is how I lay out my indicator. Hold on, let me just do this. I think uh, trading view indicator are really nice. So, okay, so um, JC and K says, Hi K, I'm curious on your trading view, why you have six indicators template. And this is up here are the templates of mine between one to number six. And number one is uh, Ichimoku. So when I press number one, then I have a Ichimoku template, Ichimoku five lines template. That number one. Number two is Ichimoku for higher time frames, and basically the same, same as uh, uh, Ichimoku. Number one, number two are same. Sometimes number two, I change it to Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen only, or Chikospan only, but now they are the same. Number three is for the lower time frames, Bollinger Band, Stochastic, and the Sessions Indicator. Sessions I use when I use the Tokyo, the Tokyo Box Breakout. So number three is like this, and number three is for the lower time frames. Number four is the sessions itself, sessions only indicator. So when I look at the five minute, and when I look at the JPI pairs, this is the Tokyo session uh, beginning and end. And I can see that after that, the market broke the Tokyo session, and now it's bearish. So this sessions indicator shows the Tokyo boxes alone, no other indicators. If I want to also see the Tokyo sessions only. And then uh, number five is the Kyushu Ashi. Kyushu Ashi is actually one of the Ichimoku strategies, Ichimoku original strategies, not mine. Ichimoku original strategies uh, that uh, Goichi Hosoda created. And Kyushu Ashi is one of the the ways to capture the market trends and market uh, reverse. Whenever you see the white, this is the bullish momentum. Whenever you see blue, these are the bearish momentum. So you can clearly see the market when the market was bullish and bearish. So in the case of Euro JPY, now it's bullish because Kyushuashi has been showing the bullish sign. White is bullish. And uh, this is mainly for my Ichimoku community members. I have wrote the book about the Kyushu Ashi and I gave some lessons about the Kyushu Ashi to, uh, to the community members. So that's number five template. And number six is the KTS uh, template where I plot the, this is still, this is still in, under under construction, so I don't want to show this to yet to you yet. But uh, this is to show KTS signals, like uh, where to enter, where I can find the I can find the trends in higher and mid time frames. Uh, I can at a glance know exactly uh, where which market is trending and ranging. So that's number six template. So you may wonder how I put number one and six. And this is how I do my template. So in front of each name on template, I put number one, two, three, four, five, like this. So now these ones that I, I put my favorite are enabled. So number one, Ichimoku. Number two, Ichimoku for higher time frame, which is the same right now as number one. Number three is for the lower time frame confirmations, the Bollinger Band stochastic in sessions. Number four is session itself, and number five is the Kyushu Ashi, and number six is the KTS. So uh, this is how I lay out the indicators. Before I was not using, I was not putting the numbers in front, and up here it says I. Ichimoku because it takes the first letter first letter of the template. So the first one left was I and second one also was I because I put the name Ichimoku on these template two templates and uh, next one was became B 
And the third one, the fourth one was S. And fifth was K. Kyushu Ashi K. And number six was also K. So sometimes I get confused, like which one was uh, Kyushu Ashi, which one was the Ichimoku indicator that I, that I wanted in template. And that's why I figure that, uh, okay, why not put numbers in front of each template so that it looks more clean up here. So I put the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in front of each uh, name of the template. And that's how I lay out the template up, up here. So it looks much cleaner and uh, it's much easier for me to recognize which one is which. So you can try, and uh, it works really well. I like this layout. I was thinking to put like A, B, C, and D, E, but uh, then like uh, some indicators name are kind of the same as uh, the B, like Bollinger Bands are B, but if I don't set the Bollinger Bands on number 2B, then I might confuse myself. So I figured numbers are better than uh, putting some something else. So. That's why I have these templates 1 to 6 like this, like in this uh, template list. So yeah, you can try. It works really well. And uh, yeah, it looks really clean, especially on the mobile too. You can actually open templates on mobile and you can, uh, at a glance, like Ichimoku name, uh, know which one's which. So it's really handy and looks really clean.